Jamaica. For years, this is the destination where Yvonne Mwale wanted to travel to. In early 2018, this dream finally came true. After an 11 hours flight, she landed on the island and shortly later reached Kingston town. It was like I just felt this connection, like it just felt like home, you know. But what was the reason for traveling around the globe to Jamaica? Yvonne was selected the second winner at the World Citizen Artist Awards 2018. We just had our first meeting with the team of the World Citizen Artist Awards. Yeah, we had a lot to catch up. There were some artists there, beautiful people, beautiful faces, and we had a lot to share. We talked about so many things. Was saying, I said you missed the ice cream, we were enjoying our ice cream here, so we try to keep one for you, I hope it doesn't melt by the time we meet you. At the World Citizen so, Artist Awards, musicians are awarded to promote peace, love and humanity. After this year's competition, overall winner Tasha T and Yvonne Mwale were invited to perform at the Bob Marley Museum in Kingston, Jamaica. It doesn't matter where we come from, as long as we are all together, we speak the same language, I think after the meetings in preparation of the upcoming concert, it was time to go to bed early because there were busy days ahead. And right on the next morning, it was time for Yvonne to get to the other end of Kingston, to a very special location. Yvonne was guest at the legendary Tough Gong Studios, founded in 1970 by Bob Marley. Time to meet the backing band and rehearse for the upcoming concert. It felt like really like a miracle to be there actually. So <laughs> seeing all these instruments and actually getting to um, to see where the legend, you know, was actually rehearsing from and do his works from. It was really amazing to see all that to be there. Right after the rehearsals, we had to go outside and try to, 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 to pick some fruits from the tree outside. It was really fun and seeing all these artists trying to get some fruits from, from the tree and yeah, it was really nice. Right after the rehearsal, it was time to head over to Bob Marley's former residence for a first sound check. We are at the Bob Marley Museum today and uh, you can see the background, they are busy setting up the stage and I, I will be performing tomorrow so I'm looking forward to rock and also looking forward to meet also other artists here and it's so exciting, it's pretty much warm here in Jamaica so yeah boy, you can see the background, it's really beautiful here, yeah. While technicians were busy completing the stage setup, it was time for Yvonne to do a little sound check. The next morning, the day was opened with some culture programs. It was really amazing to see all these drummings and yeah, it was really amazing. From memories of our heritage, it tells us to preserve our cultural integrity, sustain our heritage intelligence and maintain our traditional protocol. All over the grounds of the Bob Marley Museum at 56 Hope Road, different activities were waiting for the visitors. And I happened to uh, find a snake, which was pretty much amazing because personally I'm scared of snakes, but I had to play with it anyway. So on the same day, it was really much exciting for me because I was actually really looking forward to, to, to meet these kids, the same kids I was doing workshops with. 
and uh, I happened to, to meet these beautiful girls, these beautiful children of Jamaica, and I was so much, so much happy to, to be able to share my life experiences, you know, being able to stand there and talk in front of them, try to, to encourage them and remind them to do the right things in life. I'm coming from Africa, from Zambia, and uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you for having me here. It was really important for me, it meant a lot to be with these kids seeing all these beautiful faces, girls, just to talk about some things and sharing my experiences, you know, life experiences. But just during the, the, the workshop meeting, you know, it was really amazing to see uh, one child asking me if I can be able to do something or sing something like an appella for them, you know. So I had to sing along with them and it was so much exciting seeing these kids, kids happy. So finally the performance time came and I had to prepare myself uh, to do the work really good and also I could see that the, 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 the TV stations they were there to do an interview with me as well so it was really much cool. As the concerts were about to start, traffic started piling up in front of 56 Hope Road and more and more people were entering the area. Also for Yvonne, it was soon time for her performance on stage. It was pretty much exciting because we we at the same time we were in contact with one of our good friends his name is Andrew Damond is 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 a producer he has a studio in, in Jamaica Kingston and he's worked with a lot of bigger names yeah he's an artist as well and he's the one who happened to like introduce us to to one legend you know the legend singer in uh, Kingston his name is Ken Booth it was really such an honor and uh, we were just so happy and so humble to meet him we got to meet and do some jamming a little bit, you know, vocally with him. It was really amazing. The atmosphere was really cool. Thank you. So give thanks, you know, and save travel. Thank you. Save travel. Thank you so much. So the following day, we decided to make a trip. We were on our way to Portland, and right just on the way, we were sharing the same bus with some artists as well. Some artists were coming from France and some they were coming from the United States. And uh, in the bus it was really fun because we started jamming, you know, playing some music and sharing some love. And on the way you could see the beautiful nature. It was really, really cool also.
so yeah these were our last days in portland and uh we took some time to like visit these beautiful beaches different beaches we had to go to blue lagoon and they have a lot of beaches in jamaica that are looking really awesome and it's really beautiful because it's all green and you could see the water it's actually blue you know it's just so fun even even though you don't know how to swim but you just find it more entertaining just to play in the water you know? we're on the float here at the blue lagoon and the water it's blue as you can see see and we had to take uh the raft you know we had to take a ride on the raft so it was really much fun yeah <laughs> see different old men there selling some jewelries and playing so now we, we we started approaching our time you know our time our time of uh, saying goodbyes to everyone and it was pretty much uh, emotional and so amazing because we got so much attached to so many people we are our friends and they took us to the beach just to like do the last celebration with them and we had the bonfire there i would love to say thank you so much to the jamaican people and i would love really to come back thank you for everything